everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and today is day one of my 12 days of Christmas projects. Um, each day for 12 days, I'm going to have two uh, new Christmas projects, um, and each day I'm featuring a different bundle from our, ho our holiday catalog. Um, today is the Christmas Banners Bundle. I have another video over on my blog post with another project, so make sure that you click the link here on YouTube and go back, check it out, and enter to win today's prize. This project is my 3D project for today. Um, we're gonna use the Christmas banners to make this cute little uh, treat holder. All right, let's make our treat holder first. I'm gonna grab my Simply Scored and you're gonna need a full sheet of thick basic white cardstock. Um, so eight and a half by 11. On the long side, we're gonna score it at half an inch four, five and three fourths, and nine, let's move that out of the way, nine and a fourth. Now don't worry, these measurements will be over on my blog, um, so you can go back and get them if you didn't get them when I said them. All right, three fourths on, on the short side, three fourths of an inch, two and a half, six and three fourths. All right, we're gonna make um, a mark in the middle of this square. It is one and three fourths, across so that means that the 7 8 inch mark is the halfway point so put just a little pencil mark there for 7 8 all right so now grab your ruler and we're going to make score lines from that mark to each bottom corner this is going to help you um, pinch in those sides kind of create that little uh, tuck in the sides of your box Okay, this box is kind of like a milk carton, a fatter milk carton. Well, wider and skinnier, I should say. So that, if you think about it that way, that might help um, kind of understand the way it goes together. All right, now really important, get your bone folder and burnish all your lines. This is gonna help your box go together really well. and it will hold all of its creases. Another thing that we're gonna need to do in a second after we cut this, these tabs off is to uh, fold those lines that we just made. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is cut off these three top sections right here. All right, I'm gonna turn it over because I am right-handed and we're gonna cut all the way across. You can use your paper trimmer if you're concerned about getting it straight. Right, and then we're gonna cut this one off like that. Now, let's see, I kind of went on the inside or the outside of that score line, there we go. Now, for this, if you have a corner rounder punch, you can use a corner rounder punch here, but I don't have one, so I'm just gonna snip off the corners like that, all right? Now, bring it down to the bottom. Here's what your piece looks like so far. We're gonna cut this one off right here and cut the other ones apart. All right, so cut these just like this. All right, now I like to also cut the corners off of my square tabs down at the bottom. It helps, sometimes they stick out a little bit, and if you do this, then they don't do that. All right, the last thing we need to cut is the corners off of this side tab. All right, so let me set it down if you need to pause the video so you can see exactly what we've done. All right, now, remember, this is important. These little score lines that we made with our uh, ruler go in and fold them both ways. You want them really um, to know how they're supposed to fold. Otherwise, it, it is kind of hard if you don't do it ahead of time. All right. Now, the other thing, make sure this middle line, these two, they have to pop out. So make sure that they are, they know their role and they know what to do. <laughs> Okay, for the sake of the video, I am just gonna use my uh, stamp and seal. Um, I would recommend using tear and tape or um, 
Tombow liquid glue to keep your box together or stamp and seal plus. All right, so I've put adhesive all the way down that long line and I'm gonna fold it over and it should just totally fit. Now see how those are gonna go together? If you've burnished them, they're gonna just say, oh, that's where I'm supposed to be. Okay, now fold in the sides and then fold in the bottom and then I'm gonna put adhesive right here on the front flap like that. All right, and there is your box. See how it kind of looks like a milk carton? A wide and skinny milk carton. All right, to hold our box together, we're gonna use ribbon. And we're gonna use our hole punch. And I like to draw my dots ahead of time so that I make sure that they're even, okay? And you know what, I'm gonna, you, you might notice I did not cut that off very well. There we go. If you just punch without making a pencil mark, well, me, then I always punch it in the wrong place. It's always off and I don't wanna do that. So that's why I use a pencil. Now here, you're really gonna need a pencil. So fold it over, take your pencil and draw those little, those little holes right there. And now take your hole punch and punch those holes. Oh, come on, there we go. All right, now go ahead and put your candy in. I've got some candy here, just little yum chocolates. And we're gonna use the red, real red ribbon. And first you want to thread it through this front side like this. You'll see why in just a second. Kind of feels like it doesn't make sense. But this way, when they untie it, the ribbon is gonna stay there, okay? Now, we're gonna cut this end off and we're gonna close this. We're gonna run both of these through here like this. Okay, and then you can tie it closed. And if you fill it and it has some weight, it's gonna be a whole lot easier to tie. When they're empty, it's just really, for some reason, they like to flop around. Now, all of those measurements and the supply list are over on my blog today, so make sure you hop over there. Lots of things for you over there today and for the next 12 days. All right, so there, we've got our box. I've got a um, piece of uh, green and white, Evening Evergreen and white gingham that we're gonna put right there. And then I've got a piece of the sweetest Christmas DSP, and it's gonna go right there. All right, so now we need to do some stamping. We're gonna use our banners. We're finally to the point where we're gonna use our banners. And we're gonna stamp this banner, this long banner, in real red on basic white. All right, and then I'm gonna do Merry and Christmas. Here's one thing I noticed. This section is larger than this section. The first time I did it, I stamped Merry here and then realized Christmas doesn't fit there. So all you have to do is turn it so that Christmas can fit. I learned from my mistake. There we go, okay? Now we're gonna use soft succulent to stamp some of those branches, if I can get it picked up off the table, there we go. Soft succulent cardstock, soft succulent ink. And we're gonna stamp two of each of those. All right, time to cut. I'm gonna use my mini cut and emboss machine, and I'm gonna speed the video up so that you don't have to sit and watch me cut all these out. All right, I wanna point something out to you about these dies. You have lots of little sprigs in this set, and I have cut out some also in Evening Evergreen. These right here are open images that will cut out your stamped images. So you can see where you're cutting it. And then these are solid, um, where they just cut out your cardstock where you don't do any stamping. There are several um, of each kind in the set. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew. All right, now I have also cut out a stitched heart from the Celebration Tags dies. And we're gonna start with that heart. 
And I'm actually gonna put the dimensional way down low because we're gonna stick all those sprigs behind there. All right, now grab your banner. And we want dimensionals on this as well. And it's gonna go right about there. And now I'm gonna use my liquid glue and I'm gonna put these sprigs all around coming from behind our, our um, heart, all right? And there's really no right or wrong way to do this. I just tried to vary the colors a little bit, some of the darker ones in the back, some of them in the front. And stick that one right there, that one. Okay, something about my nails to this time is keeping me from picking up paper off my desk. All right, I think that's enough. We're gonna save that one for another project. Now there's something else I wanted to add. It just, I felt like it was missing something. These are the open leaf trinkets. Aren't they gorgeous? So I'm gonna use a glue dot to add two of these in here as well. Now this box is big enough to hold quite a bit of treats. You could make um, homemade treats to put in here. And if you do that, I would put them in a bag, as like a, a cellophane bag first, and then put them in. Um, or if you're in a hurry, just use candy like I did. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure you jump back to my blog, enter that giveaway, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.